everyone. Today we're going to teach our dogs how to ring the desk bell. My name is Julie and with me today demonstrating this trick I have Bentley and we are Animal Tactics. Today we're going to teach our dog how to ring a desk bell. You can also use a tap light where the dog pours the light and it turns on and he pours it and turns off or you can use an easy button where they press the button with their paw yes. and you hear a response <laughs> and you can get them preloaded with a response this one came from office folks but you also can get some that you can put your own keywords in or commands into it as well so that you can program them and you can get them from amazon all right before we get started, we need to set ourselves up in an environment that is low in distractions and this has a non-slip surface because we're going to add some movement into it. All right, step one, we're going to introduce to our dog the bell. Now we're simply going to place it on the floor. Now some of you, your dogs will not have a clue what this is, so step one will be just introducing it. If they look at it, yes and reward. If they touch it or sniff it, whatever behavior they offer initially, we're going to reward it. And then as they get better at it, we're going to up the ante until, they get the, until we get the desired result. So for my dog, the desired result is they pour at it. Okay, so I'm just going to place it down on the floor, get my treats. Right here, drop. Place it on the floor and see what behaviour they offer us. Yes. 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 All right. Drop. Drop. <laughs> okay. Once you've got your dog pouring at the bell, that is when we can introduce the keyword. So as you can see, Bentley understood what the bell was and he was putting his paw on it to make a sound. So now I'm going to introduce the keyword. You can choose to use the word paw because you want him to pour on it or touch because you want them to touch it or perhaps you want to call it bell. It's totally up to you what keyword you use. What you start with is the keyword you're going to maintain. All right, so we're going to use the word bell. All right. Bell. Yes. Bell. Yes. Hopefully you can see it from there. I'll get it over here. Bell. Yes. Bell. Yes. Bell. Yes. All right. So step one was introducing the bell. Step two was adding in that keyword. Now we're going to add some distance into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bell away from him. So he's got to get up and walk to it. When he follows my cue and rings that bell, I'll use my reward marker, yes, and I'll follow up with a treat, and then I will get him into a commanded position so that he has to do it on cue. A commanded position is something like sit, drop, or stand. Okay? All right, stay. Bell. Yes. Drop. Jump. Jump. Touch. 
Yes. <laughs> Drop. Touch. So now we're going to show you the tap light. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Touch. Good boy. Good job. <laughs> We're done. Enough. Okay. Sit. Sit. Alright guys, so there you have it. That is how you teach your dog the desk bell, the tap light and the easy button. I look forward to seeing your videos of your dog learning these skills. So go ahead, practice them and once they are mastered, post them on our Facebook page so we can give you a big tick for learning that trick. All right, guys. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Good boy. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss our weekly releases. If you would like to see more videos of this level, check out our playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in our description below. Ciao for now. Bye everyone. Bye bye.